Good morning guys from Delhi, India. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a special video. We're going to be going around and see how much we can get for $10, 10 US dollars. And so I'm going to be getting food, we're going to be doing some activities and exploring this city for $10. Okay, so I'm also with the boy, the man oh, of the legend. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to be exploring. First stop is chai time. Uh, I have no idea how much it's going to be. Namaskar. Namaskar. How are you? Good. Chai? Chai. Oh yeah. Namaskar. What's this? Oh. Kidney. Kidney? One? Five rupees. Five rupees. Wow. Yes. Starting off well. Five rupees. Alright guys. So, five rupees starting off. Thank you brother. What's the name? Popadom. Popadom? It's the name? Oh no no no, just just one. Thank you. There we go. So that's around uh, maybe ten cents. So it's like very. It's like basically just like a crisp. See what it tastes like. Oh my god. It's like the the pop or dumb that I used to have so much when you get like an Indian meal in the UK. And we got the chai. How much for these? Kidney rupee. Kidney. Twenty. 20 okay so 25 rupees for chai and a little snack this is so light guys this thing just like breaks so easily so crunchy really nice meal i wonder how he makes it oh he's gone <laughs> he's gone he's made that money and he's out of here pretty cool idea he just carries like a hundred round with him it's and a then, perfect breakfast, huh? Yeah. Five rupees. Yeah. It's not very filling though, that's the only thing. I could have ordered about five more. Mm. And then we got the chai. It's a perfect mixture to start off your day. Hot, but so sweet. The, the chai's here and in Pakistan are just like so so nice completely different to like a tea that you have in England or in the West very sweet but not like uh, filled with sugar I feel like it's it's got other things that make it sweet actually it's probably it's probably sugar that's not high <laughs> oh that is good there you go my friend Danivad Abkahan here Delhi Delhi how do you make the chai? Chai, but how do you make it? Here? Chai, no. Where? Oh, dobara banega. Oh, lasti? Ha, dud. Oh, okay. Can I can I film you make Haan, make chai? Ha. So we go jalayenge, fir banega. Yahan bana ke nahi rakhte. Don't know what you saying. Garam garam. <laughs> garam garam. Mm. Oh, it's a little bit dirty, boss. Haan. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. So he makes it in here. He's, he's finished off now, but he, he's got, you can see all the coffee in there and he filters it in. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So here's the cooker. He lights it, puts the water in. You can see the coffee granules, a little bit of milk. Yeah, I'll do it, i Oh, that's the, is that the sweetener? Crushes it up. Oh yeah. Oh, ginger. Is that ginger? Ginger? Ginger. Ah, a little bit more coffee. Brings it to the boil. Oh, sugar. Oh, yeah. As local as it gets, guys. And then uh, he gets his little, his little cups. And yeah, they, the thing about chai here in India is that it's always served in very small portions. So I feel like you could just have it as a little snack multiple times throughout the day. And there's no, there's no wrong or right time to have it. You can have it at 11 p.m. at night or 7 a.m. in the morning. And we are having it quite early. And as you can see, guys, this is the fuel source. We just got a random canister. And uh, this is where he buys it from. We've got the man <laughs> transporting this, uh, is it gas? Gas. Wow. So a uh, little, little, little bit of a fire hazard there, but uh, that's India for you. And then, he brings it over here, his mobile coffee unit, and uh, I love how he, he smashed it up with his, with his bolts. There's the ginger that he used. So that, 
I'm getting used to the ginger being in, in chai here, but I've never ever had, before I came to India, I'd never had ginger in a, in a chai. And it almost adds like a little aromatic, spicy uh, taste to it, which sounds like it wouldn't fit in a tea, but it does, it does taste quite nice, I have to say. And uh, we'll finish it off now. The only thing is, it's very hot. And I apologize for all the beeping in the background. I'm sure some of you guys are getting used to it. If you're Indian, you're probably very used to it. And this is something that I am used to from Pakistan. It's the skin on top. To be honest, I'm not like the hugest fan of the skin, but I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. It's like, uh, do, you, do you eat it or do you, do you leave it? I don't know, like usually it gets stuck in my teeth. Yeah. So I feel like I have to drink it. I, I try and avoid it, but then at some point you have to have it. How many years have you had this shop? 10 years, 20 years? Uh. Got a bit of a language barrier. Anyone speak uh, Hindi uh, here? Kidney sal. Kidney sal. Kidney sal. Kidney sal. Kidney sal. That's 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 the only problem with numbers. Speak speak English? No English. No English? Hindi. Bank Hindi. of America. Shamrock Shuffle. A K. Ah. Yeah. Nice. Apka naam kya hai? Raju. Raju. Nice to meet you, Raju. Mere naam Harry. Okay, Danny Vad, Danny Vad by Sam, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, off to the next spot. That was 33 US cents, so we're not even touching the sides with this. On to the next spot. Alright, guys, we found the spot. Unisex. Namaskar by Sab. Kaise ho? Godbria. Godbria. Um, head massage? Yeah. Kidney? 200. 200? You can do 150. Okay. So like $2. This is your shop? Yeah. Nice shop. What's your name? My name is Mohamed Umair. Mohamed? Mohamed Umair. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Awesome. Nice shop. Huh? Very nice shop. We got some AstroTurf. If in case you want to do some football training, uh, you can do haircut and football training at the same time. Namaskar by Sal. Hey, Sil. Okay. First time I've ever started my day off with a head massage, but this is what you've got to get used to in India. Okay. Actually, this is like my first head massage in India. I kind of had one when I got this treatment done, but... Is that oil coconut? Coconut oil. Oh yeah. I wonder, do you think the locals get head massages? Head massages. So. Yeah. It's because in England you, you can't really get them, can you? Like, unless you go to an actual spa. <laughs> Not for 150 rupees. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. So the main idea of this video is just to show you how inexpensive this city is and how much you can get for your money if you go to the right place. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He started off intense. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't his first rodeo. Woo. I feel like I've just been slapped in the face. This is more effective than a coffee. Okay, so he's putting quite a lot of pressure in and he's just going through my hair. Feels quite nice. This is extremely unique. Only in India. Whoa. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that hurts! <laughs> I'm getting attacked! <laughs> oh my god, that actually hurts! I feel like he is getting his stress out on you, yeah. not the other way around. He's like, oh, bloody tourists! <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you, boss? Ah! I feel my brain hitting the side of my head. <laughs> yeah, this you're gonna walk out with a concussion, huh? This is torture. Oh, eyelid. Oh, yeah, that's better. As well, yeah? That's better. That's nice. A little bit of a break between the absolute madness. Oh, yeah. How many, how many do you do a day? How many a day? Yeah. Uh, Kidna customer. Uh, how do you? 30? 30, 30 yeah. Okay. 30, 25, 22, 
I'm your fir first one? No. Oh. Fourth. Fourth? Wow. Yeah. Busy. Okay. Whoa. It is. Ooh. Oh, oh no! He's throwing oh, me around no. like a ragdoll. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh. Oh. Oh, there. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the bum? Oh, Jesus. Squeaky bum time. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> I think he's enjoying this more than you. Brother, try to kill me. Oh, uh, shorter dislocation, huh? Be careful, brother. Paladins, new the station. Ah, there? Yeah. Oh! Oh my god. I'm, I'm scared. You look like you've been tortured, huh? I know. Whoa. Oh, the palms. This isn't just a head massage. This is full body. Zabadas, brother. Zabadas. Danny guy. Relax. Woo. Very good. Thank you. That's just one side, dude. You got the other side to go as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no idea what's going to happen Lose. next. Oh, no. oh, God. Oh, my God. I heard that click. <laughs> really like quite precious i was gonna say romantic but i guess that's a different word yeah it's, it's a little romantic <laughs> one on one on one with my man oh come come where are you taking me? oh my god he's gonna oh, take you this. back i love this oh <laughs> <laughs> he spent less time on my hair and more more time on my just my whole body but it's good, it's good. Oh, here we go. We've got the machine of dreams. Have you used this before? I've used it once. Is it good? It is scary, dude. Like, oh, God. I feel like you're actually going to get cooked out of Oh, God. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. It's basically just like a, a massager putting lots of small, like, bumps on my head. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's like that thing at the gym where you um, you stand on it and it it like vibrates really quickly. Oh, he's doing it in the ear. Ah! <laughs> that feels so strange. It feels like my ear's about to come off. And the cheek. Ooh. Oh my god. That's the strangest feeling ever. Oh, he's really getting in the, the crown of my head. No, no part is left unturned. Oh, in the lower back. That actually feels quite nice. Get in the bum. Make sure you get the anus. <laughs> well, let's hope he doesn't put his fingers. <laughs> oh, back on the ear. Ah, literally my whole face is vibrating. Oh, it's really getting in there. Surely that's not that uh, hygienic. Sticking his ear, his hand in my ear. Well, the good thing is he could use the wax from your ear to wax your hair afterwards. Right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my god, my whole like nose feels like numb. Like, oh, we're not done yet. I have to say, you get your money's worth. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my hair is about to fall off. <laughs> I don't know if I would recommend this. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, you look like a new man. Okay. Wow. Okay. Are you going to pay me for this? Yeah, the, I honestly can't explain the feeling right now. Like genuinely it feels like the adrenaline of when you've just had you've been in a fight, obviously I'm not saying I've been in many fights, but oh, there we go, nice little style. Bottle chat. Feel like I've yeah, honestly feel like I've I've got like adrenaline pumping in my body, feel like I've just had a fight. Oh now he's he's making me look like I've had an electric shock. Do you like the new style? Zabadas, thank you bro. Do you have a uh, you have any wax? Any wax? 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 Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get you some. Wax, wax, wax. <laughs> Just get some wax and then put it in here. That was um, interesting. It was very interesting. It was fun. Let's put it that way. To say it was enjoyable 
which could be, I think it would be pushing it, but it was very fun. Thank you, bro. Hi. Really good, really good. Excellent thank you, thank you. service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a professional. Okay, so now we're, I'll tell you guys the update on the money we've spent. There you go, Ross. Thank you no very change. much. No change, brother, sorry. It's the thing in India is like no one ever like has any luggage? change. Nay. Thank you. No one ever has change. Anywhere you go, even at train stations, like they never have change. So um, it's a good idea to get your money change before. Okay, wow. Cool. I feel I feel like a new man literally. Okay, thank you guys. Bye bye. And so the grand total comes to two dollar thirty. So we've still got a lot more money to spend, so let's go on to the next spot and explore. Okay. We'll see if we can get a taxi. Namaskar bhai sahab. Sorry? Jage jage ka naam kon? Pichana kitna? Tora tora Hindi. Chandni chok. Chandni chok. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Kitni? Plate 400 sir. Dono. 400? 400 dono. 400 dono. No. 400. Nay, nay, nay. 50. 50. 50 rupees. 50 rupees. 400, not 400. Okay, 100. Okay, no problem. Let's see, how much is it on Uber? I think on Uber it's like uh, 70 or 80. It's 70 on Uber. Okay, and Uber usually charges a, a little bit of a premium. Um, so the maximum I'll pay is 100. Because getting a fair price with tuk tuk drivers is real hard, real hard, especially here in Delhi. And I know obviously it would be easier to go by Uber. But uh, it's it's enjoyable to do the haggling experience. All right, guys, we've come to the the tuk tuk spot, so let's have a look. Namaskar. Namaskar, Kesio. Acha. Uh, Chandi Chok, Old Town, Kidney Rupee. Two hundred. Nay, nay, nay. Traffic jam. Do. No, no, no traffic. Seventy. Seventy. Seventy rupees. Seventy. No, no. Give me a better price. I have I have a budget of ten dollars for the day. A hundred. One fifty. Nay, 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 nay. It's, it's ten ten minutes away. No, sorry, there's no Bura Circle CP, Darya Gang, Jama Majid, no jam if traffic. Maximum one hundred. Nay. They don't want to be making money around here. Okay, we'll try one more. I think that the issue is that uh, for small jobs. For small journeys, the tuk-tuk drivers have a, like a minimum amount, otherwise they, they don't get their money's worth. So um, maybe maybe we have to pay a little bit of a premium. But at the same time, I'm on a budget here today, guys. I did this is like a yeah, yeah, no, no, no. How come? No, yeah, no, no, no. Tuk-tuk. Uh, too far. Oh, yeah. Chandi-chuk. Thank you. Too far. Kidney. Two people. 500 rupees. 500. A thousand? I can give you a no, brother. Sorry. Don't be, don't be silly. Five hundred rupees. I have a question. Yes. How much should I pay to Chandi Chok? Tuk Tuk. Fly over. How much? How much should it be? Twenty rupees. Twenty. Twenty rupees. Only. He tries to charge me five hundred. No, no, no. Do you hear that? Twenty rupees. Twenty. Ah, uh, Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk. Both sides. Tuk Tuk that side. Oh, okay, okay, we go that side. Yes, 20 rupees. 20, 20 rupees. 20 rupees? Yeah. Two Brother. people. Metro, Chani Chok, Liye, Metro Chok. No. No, I don't want to go. Chanji Chok. Chanji Chok, where are you going? Red Fort. Red Fort. Red Fort. Lal Kila. Betty. Kidney. 200. No. Hey. Namaskar. Namaskar. How are you? Good. Uh, Chanji Chok. Chanjok, Red Fort. Red Fort. Kidney. 150. Huh? 150. 20. 150. 150? Yes. Maximum 100. Auto no, rickshaw is. They want 500. <laughs> One, One uh, wood ply is 150. 120. Okay, 140. 140. No, 120. 120. 130. 130. What are we doing? 130. It's still, it's still uh, a little bit expensive, but. That's like the fifth person I've gone to and uh... The thing I love about Tuk Tuk is an experience in itself, right? Like yeah. you could get Uber sit in the back of the car in an AC but this you get to love it, huh? Exactly. You get to smell everything, hear everything. It's like an assault on every single sense. Exactly. 
You don't get to do this in an Uber. Hello! How can I get here? I'm just from It's nice to meet you. From Delhi? How can I here? Delhi. Nice. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, he gave us fairly, fairly decent price. I don't think it's 20, 20 rupees to go there though. No, no, no. I think something's got lost in charge. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, maybe the the metro there he was talking about. It's not 20 rupees. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I exactly. think they're, they're not making point. much profit for 20 rupees. For 500 rupees, wow. All right, guys. So we've got to a grand total of four dollars. So we're we're getting through the money fairly quickly, uh, but. We've had a drink, something to snack, a massage, transport, and now we're on to the next spot. All right guys, so we are cruising on over to Old Town Delhi, which is a good area to get some food and meet some friendly locals, I find. Um, and you know, it's a really, really hot day, so it's nice to be undercover, getting a little bit of a breeze from this tuk-tuk and also yeah as you guys can see traffic today is as usual very very uh busy maybe if we got the metro it would have been a bit quicker but uh and maybe cheaper actually but uh tuk tuk is always the fun way and i can't film on the metro so are you uh keen for anything in particular food wise i've got, got carbs and protein and yeah. uh, Bro, I'm like, well, I can't stop thinking about masala dosa, like, Ooh. honestly. Ever since I've, I've had two, and they're both in South India, because I think it is a South Indian dish. I think so, yeah. Or it, may, um, it might be from um, Mumbai, but bro, so, so good. Have you tried butter paratha? No. Should we no, get that? I'm for a treat, dude. Okay, it's let's so, get so that. It's so affordable, but it's so delicious. Yeah? It's so nice. Awesome. Okay, boss. Thank you very much. Don't you bad. All right. We are, we are here in Old Town, Old Town, Delhi. Namaskar. How are you? Good. Hey, the boys. Four day, five day before you are coming. Yeah? Do you remember me? I'm going to be there. I'm not going to be there. Tora, Tora. You come that side. I'm yeah? going to talk to you. Take bicycle. You see me? Yeah? Nice. Hey. <laughs> hey. Nice. Hey. Trouble. There's trouble over here. Okay. Have a good day. No, Bye -bye. Sorry? Hara. Yes. You want? Change? Yes. Nay. You want change? Nay. No, I give you Indian money. Change. No, no, they love dollars. They love dollars. I give you Indian money. Nay, nay. The reason I've got this is because we want to get the thumbnail with, with a $10 bill. Namaskar. I give you Indian money. He sees it. He saw the dollars and his eyes lit up. Yes. Nay, you bro. want to change? I give you Indian. Uh, nay, I like dollars. Hey. Yes. Brother. Yeah, you know. Bro, I know. Nay. So the, the touts are all lined up at the entrance. Um, so yeah, just a, just a word of advice when you come here. Um, if you're trying to, you know, touts will come up to you and, and try and, they always start with an opener, like uh, asking a question, like where you're from and stuff. Just as soon as you can, as soon as you know that they're selling something, just uh, be assertive and say, Nay, nay, nahi chai, yeah, or just thank you, thank you, I'm okay. Or, or you could just ignore them, sometimes that probably works better than me talking to them. Um, but yeah, we are here in Old Town, Delhi. Such a cool place. It's got this main street where no auto, um, I don't think any cars are allowed, so you've you got these cycle tuk tuks. And then loads of places to eat, loads of markets, loads of uh, temples, mosques, and really such a famous place and one of the best places to come we've also got like these sweets it's a little bit early for me to have some sweets looking for some food and some activities to do we've also got loads of tout like uh, vendors selling like lots of like items on the streets as well as these proper markets here where you can get loads of fake items so there's a lot to do a lot to do a lot to see here we go guys as you can see we're walking up to a very busy street I think it's busy because this is like a food street. I think the name is Paratha, Paratha Wali Gali, I believe. And that means we're going to be getting some Paratha. Okay. 
Can they take the sunglasses off? We got loads of different things here. Here we go. All samosas. We got a motorbike. We got man ringing gifts. Namaskar. Oh, look at this. You can see the light coming down through the cracks. Namaskar. Oh, Parata World. All right, guys. I think we're going to go here. Welcome to Parata World. 1889, so it's over 100 years old. Let's have a look. Namaskar, bye, sir. Okay, so, uh, best cheese paratha in Delhi? Oh, yeah, okay. Paratha world, okay. Let's see, this is where he makes them. And uh, you got all the ingredients here. The man frying them, the man making them. Very efficient process. Okay, we'll have a sit down. What are you getting, boss? I, to be honest with you, I have no idea why I ordered it. I just told them to give me something that's tasty. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay. My I, mistake. I think there's something that's, that is calling my name here, and you guys might see it. We got some alu paratha, we got loads of vegetable paratha, but this one right here, cheese paratha. There's also the, these ones look quite nice, the barbecue, but I think it's gotta be, what's a candy crush? Is that, oh, chocolate? Oh, I don't know if my budget allows me to get one of these, but we'll go for cheese paratha for now. Uh, boss? Right, cheese paratha? One cheese paratha. Thank you. I'm gonna come over and see how he films, how he makes it. Mine? Yeah. Okay, so he rolls up the dough, adds a little bit of flour to it, and makes it nice and flat. Cheese? Oh, there we go. So it looks quite small, but I'm sure they maybe flip it over and make it slightly bigger. So he's added quite a lot of cheese in there. There's also a little bit of veg, a little bit of spice in there. See all these, these look really nice. What is this? Onion? This is radish. Radish? Yeah. Peas? Green peas. Oh yeah. And Spices? Green chili. Chili? Potato? Potato. Cauliflower. Cauliflower? Mixed veg. Mixed veg. This is the final project. Yes. So we're going to be turning that into yeah. that. And then, don't know if you guys saw that, but you just popped it, threw it into here, and then your man over here just drowns it in oil. And basically just fries it. Wow. Zabadast. What's this? Tofu? Cheese? Paneer. Paneer. Ah, paneer. So that's this. I've been having paneer in so much stuff and I couldn't, I didn't know what it was. But now I know. Wow, look at this fan. It's seen better days. And then finally, your man just flips it over a few times, fries it in that lovely oil, and it's done in maybe. I reckon maybe 60 seconds, 90 seconds. Good? Okay, well, that was probably 60 seconds and it's done. So they made my meal in probably 90 seconds. That is efficient if I ever saw an efficient process. And yeah, guys, so 120 rupees. So that will be roughly $2 to add to the, add to the list. And we're getting through the budget, but we've still got, I think we're just over halfway. All right, guys, the meal has come. We've got cheese paratha. Lovely, you guys already know. It's gonna be so nice. We've got, you're gonna have to help me with some of these, bro. Chutney, mint chutney. Some sort of mint or cheese chutney. This is uh, aloo. Aloo, potato, yeah. Any idea? Banana or something? It like banana, yeah. Was it sweet? It is pretty sweet, yeah. Okay. Um, this is... Dal, one of them dal. Yeah, this one is pumpkin. Pumpkin, and then maybe dal. This one separately. It looks the same. Oh, it's this the one. same, yeah. Okay, let's go for it. We'll, we'll try a little bit of everything. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be comparing this to the Pakistan paratha. See which one's better. Oh, stringy cheese. Very crunchy. Slightly different actually because it's fried. I'm used to having uh, just a plain, not fried, uh, just like a grilled, grilled paratha. So this is slightly different. We'll go through it on its own. To start off with. Oh my god! That is fire. That is straight up fire. It's so so nice. The the cheese in there just makes it and the crunchiness oil everywhere got vegetables in there it reminds me of like a cheese toasty but it's actually a lot nicer because the fried 
the fried bread makes it like a, just gives that crunchy texture to it. And uh, I want to have more on its own, but we'll go for one more bite on its own. Oh yeah, got a proper big bite of the cheese there. So one more bite. Okay, let's go for a loo. But if you guys can see, I'm gonna grab some of it. Also, I know I keep saying this, but I love how it's just in like a little metal tin, metal uh, metal tray, so you can kind of like dip in and out of the sauces that you like. So unique. Okay, there we go. Got a bit of the dal. Uh, sorry, the potato aloo. Mm. Having it on its own, having it on its own, is very good. But when you add different flavors to it, it just gives it that extra, extra, um, like explosion of flavors. Really delicious. And then we'll go for some of this green chutney. I didn't really taste much there, to be fair. It's good. It's good. But I didn't. There was nothing. It was nothing that was very powerful, kind of just like a, a cool sauce. Then we'll go for, oh, we're getting everywhere, some of this banana. Wow. That's my favorite so far. It's the banana is so, so sweet, soft, mixed with the, um, like the savory of the cheese prata. The mixture is so good. And then that sauce is kind of sweet sauce. That's my favorite so far. I wish we had more cheese prata. I could have got another one. Then we'll go for pumpkin. That's also really good. Kind of sweet as well. Adding these, adding these sauces is a game changer to be fair. Although I do love it on its own. And you can see a little bit of the spice in there. I'd say it's very low spice. My mouth is kind of like burning a little bit. But I think my, maybe my tolerance is getting a little bit better because it's not bad. And then we'll just see if this is any different. No, I think that's the same as that. Very, very similar. I have to say, this has got to be my favorite, so we're going to go back to this one. Wow, look at that. Dipped in the sauce. Actually, I'm going to copy Ali and go for a double dip in all of them. See if we can get all the flavors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. That was the best one. <laughs> you get like one bite, you get sweet. One bite, you get this, and then the next bite, you get an explosion of uh, uh, chili and stuff. I really could do with another one. But we're on a budget here, guys. <laughs> so let's go for final dip. With everything. Boom. You're done, my guy. One of my favorite meals here in Delhi. I can eat them all day, every day, twice on a Sunday. All right, guys, so I've just been spending the, the last few minutes cleaning off the rest of these sauces. And the man over here said us, told us that for everything, these sauces are included in the paratha. So for everything, it's 120. So that's uh, less one, $1.50. $1.50. Such good value for money. And uh, I've just had all of these and now my mouth is on fire. My tongue is like completely numb because when you have the sauces on their own, it's a lot more spicier. But uh, I've ordered a water, so hopefully that'll help me. We've got the water coming behind us. Oh, sweating now. And so guys, the grand total so far, $5.83. Uh, cents for everything we've done so far nearly a half day full of experiences here in Delhi and we're still not done yet we're just over halfway all right guys I'm going to get some dessert namaskar by sab kaise ho aja um which is your best best kidney sorry 400 ah just for one 400 kilo uh, one, one, just this. One. 
Okay, we'll, we'll find out after. Let's try it. It's like a cookie dough, it looks like. Oh my god. Wow. That's literally like cookie dough. Whoa, that is that is unreal, bro. You gotta try one of them. Yeah, yeah, try them. I could. Can I take the whole thing? The whole plate? <laughs> is it good? Bro, Whoa. it's fire. It's insane. It's nice and squishy. It's huh? like cookie dough. Uh, just the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, what the Yeah, that's insane. Whoa. Uh, one, can I try one of these? So, okay, let's just get, I'll get a few and then we'll, hopefully it'll be in the price budget. Okay, uh, let's get, uh, what else do you think I should get? I think the silver one looks pretty interesting. This one? This one? And then, oh, I love this, and just uh, one of this. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully it's in our price budget. Okay. Kidney? I think they're, they're, they're saying, how much, how much should I charge him? A thousand? Two thousand? Ninety? Okay. You work here? Okay. What's, what is this? Shiva. Oh wow, Shiva. H Hindu. Hindu temple. Wow. Okay. A hundred. That's that's very reasonable for a nice little package of desserts. Danny Vad by self. Danny Vad, this is your, your shop? Good chat. Nice nice to talk to you. Okay. So we got a little letter. I'm gonna send this home to my parents. <laughs> Wow, okay. Ali, you're gonna have to help me out with some of these because these are... Uh... Believe me, I am ready to help you out, dude. <laughs> okay, okay, this I've, I've had before. This is my favorite. Actually, I'd say that is probably my favorite. But this is like... Uh, it reminds me of like uh, shortbread, but it's very, very easy to eat. So chewable. Oh my God. As soon as you take a bite, just all the breaks in your mouth and then you get like the syrup, the sweetness, the sugar, and then there's a little bit of pistachio in there. It's gonna be hard to beat that, to be honest. Uh, I kinda wanna finish it off, I'm gonna finish it off. There's a little bit more for you, Ali. Mmm. Okay. That was so good, so good. Okay, next, we've got uh, this pastry with a little bit of silver on, a little bit of pistachio on again. And it kind of looks a little bit like egg, but I hope it doesn't taste like egg. Wow, it's quite unique. It doesn't really taste of too much, but the texture of it is really nice. Like a very soft pastry. Okay, next. Oh, yes, I'm gonna like this one. We've got this one next. Basically just uh, almonds, nuts, stuck together. Look at that, guys. Okay. Wow, how do I even go about this? That reminds me so much of my childhood because I used to have something very similar where it's like uh, lots of different like breadcrumbs, bread like pastry and nuts stuck together with like this toffee, toffee sauce. Really good. Oh, I made a little bit of a mess in here, not gonna lie. And finally, it's like pick and mix. If anyone knows what it is. Do you, do you know what that is, Ali? Yeah, yeah. Pick and mix. <laughs> and then we got this, it looks like a bar of silver. Maybe we're gonna be getting rich today, but I think it's basically just uh, pastry or maybe it's chocolate, I'm not sure. If you see that, it breaks very easily, so it must be pastry. Mm. This one's not so great. It's, um, I think it's more for show. It doesn't really taste of anything, but it's nice. So I would say, in order, this is by far the best. Then this, as you can see the, the best things are at the top. And then these are all really good. I like that, I like that. Not so great, um, but yeah. So interesting, and you don't really get sweets like this back in the UK. Uh, you, you, you don't really get it where you can kind of like pick and you you would have it where you just buy the whole cake I think so really nice to try probably gonna try and finish these off uh, but Ali I'll get your reaction so you mentioned this is your favorite one right yeah this thing reminds me of your childhood 
To be honest with you, I love the texture. I was mm. expecting it to be a little bit dry, but this is so nice and squishy. I don't know what is that. Like, it's like toffee or something. Yeah, it's supposed to be toffee syrup or something like that. Oh, it's already breaking. It's breaky, crumbly. Oh, yeah, it's good. What? It's so, hard to describe the flavor. Yeah, yeah. It's quite sticky. Definitely pistachios in there, some almonds, a little bit of caramel. That's delicious, man. Really good. Very, very nice. Oh. And I reckon I'm gonna lick the rest of the shop as well. <laughs> mm. That's how good it goes. Honestly, that is really, really good. The man approves. The only thing that would make this better if, if we had some chai. That oh, would be delicious right now. Yeah. Shukriya by sub. Danny Rad by sub. This is your shop? Your shop? Family? Family shop? Kidney sal? No sal. So sal barani. No sal barani good. Okay. Mm. I think you said 30 years. You guys will be able to translate for me. But very good shop. Very family owned shop. Right at the entrance to Old Town as you come in. Thank you very much boss. Nice to meet you. All right, guys, and the grand total comes to $7.70. So we've still got nearly just over $2 to spend. So yeah, we're really like, I'm full now. I've had a great experience. We've nearly spent most of the day exploring. Uh, so like really, really great value for money here in Delhi, specifically Old Delhi. All right, guys, belly is full. And now I think I'm gonna get one more thing. I've got $2 left. Oh, should we try and get a, a new camera? I don't know if that fits my budget. Uh, but maybe maybe something a shirt. Namaskar by sab. Kaise ho? Acha. Aapka naam kya hai? Mera naam Raju sir. Raju. Nice to meet you. Oh, look at this t-shirt. Should you get this from Mac? <laughs> <laughs> NYC Tornado. Uh, you have any other t-shirts? Oh, Givenchy. Real? T-shirt. Fake? 250. Real or fake? First copy? First copy. First copy. Okay. At least he's he's, he's honest. Where's Yaris? <laughs> Raris, Givenchy Raris. It's the new, uh, it's the new capital of France. Okay, um, you can do for me 100. No, no. no? no Buy pr price. Only price. All sale price. Everything. Nothing in India is a fixed price, brother. No, no. <laughs> price to one, fixed price. Fixed price. I, I have a budget though. I only have two dollars. Uh, let's see. I actually have two dollars thirty, so one fifty. No fixed price. All all t-shirt two fifty. All. I don't have two fifty there, brother. The fans color. First copy. Kidney. Sell all. All two fifty. Ah, two fifty, two fifty. One fifty maximum. No, no, no. All two fifty. All sale price. No, no discount. No discount. Okay. Okay. So I don't have 250 to spend, unfortunately, brother. Uh, we can go. Namaskar. Namaskar. Good. Good. T-shirts? Ah, T-shirt. 200. 200. Fixed price? Fixed price. Bill to fixed no? price. No, no, no bargain. No discount. Buy sub, buy sub discount. No bargaining, no discount. No bargaining. I, uh, I don't have enough. I don't think. One, one, one seven five. No, no, 200. Okay. Anyone 200, this right shop. The shirt. Okay. We're going to have to move on to the next spot. It's slightly just above my budget. Yeah. yeah. How much do you have left? 175. 175, all right. We're being very strict, guys. Very strict. Guys, I just spotted my man over here. Namaskar, bhai sahab. Aston Villa. Aap kaise hai? Aap ka naam kaise hai? Jack Grealish? You know Aston Villa? My my club. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never ever thought I would see anyone wearing an Aston Villa top in India. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he has no idea what Aston Villa is. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's my favorite football team. And I just spotted it out of the no out of the middle of nowhere. That's just made my day. <laughs> a Villa fan who doesn't even know he's a Villa fan. Namaskar. Namaskar. <laughs> Uh, Botacha. Brother, I'm back. I'm back for more. Uh, what size? Your size, large. Yeah? I try. I, I try. Can I try on? As you guys can see, you're going to have to wear it over the kulta. Danny Vibe by sub. Okay. 
It's oh, also made. What's the fabric? The fabric. Yeah, dry fit. Dry fit. Ah, dry fit. Uh, yeah, so it's like a sports top. Yeah. It's a Givenchy designer sports top. Sport, sport. Okay, okay. I try. They've also got Burberry. They've got ah Versace. Oh, so, yeah. Versace. Versace. And uh, Bur. Burberry, Burberry. It's the new design, designed by Burberry, styled by Harry Jaguar. Okay, I try. Thank you, bro. Is it recording? Here? So, I guess all the shops around here is fixed price, and believe me. I tried to get a discount price, but these boys, no, no, no discount around here. Okay, looks a bit, a little bit tight. We're popping out. We got a little bit of an audience as well. Everyone's here to see the new Givenchy. Oh, a little bit tight, boss. Oh, you look like you've been hitting the gym, Harry. Have I had too many paratas? Cheese parata. Your big size. Bigger, bigger. Do you think I should start? I should start wearing it like this. You take it easy on the gym, Harry. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> so of course, the only size they have is a completely different brand. Do you have? Do you have? Oh, same or different? Different. Okay, let me try. You have, you have no, uh, I want to design it. Extra large. Uh, only large. Your big size. I bought, I bought this top. I bought a top like this. I, I have this. I have this. Uh, I can put that one on and buy it. Sorry, just I, buy it. I can just buy it. It's for the video. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're not gonna wear any of them. Okay. Just put it back on, pretend like it's still tight. Okay. okay. Just cut I, it I try on. this one. Just try it. Try this one on. It's a very, very nice material. I have to say, I can go to the gym in it, and I look like a bit of a baller when I go to the gym. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you've definitely been hitting the gym, Harry, huh? Don't worry, guys. I won't be. Uh, I won't be wearing it when I'm in the. Uh, sorry, I won't be uh, wearing the kulta when I'm in the gym. That's for sure. <laughs> what do we think? Big biceps? No. <laughs> huge, huge. Yeah. Too much gym. I think it fits okay. I think with it, without the kulta, it would probably be a better fit. I mean, you look very stylish right now, Harry. Thank you. Bro. Okay. We'll try one last time. You can do it for me, that's the price? 225. Okay. That, that proves it, guys. Fixed price. Okay. I need help myself. One piece? One piece. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to squeeze this in. This is your shop? No. Your shop? No shop. Sai garment. Fine garment. Fine garment. Sai garment. Sai garment. Where, where is this made? Made in India? Made in India. Okay, very nice. Sorry? All good, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Okay, very good purchase, guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to be feeling like a designer king styled by Givenchy or however you say it. What was, what was the brand again? Givenchy Yaris. Ah, uh, Givenchy Yaris. Yaris. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, yeah, very good purchase.
for 250 so that's like uh, 8 16 just over three dollars three dollars for a designer shirt and uh, let me tell you guys that is definitely real <laughs> all right guys we're finishing up now as you can see I probably spent just a little bit over I think I went over my budget by like 50 cents because of that man with the fixed price he really uh, he really ruins my budget there but at the same time still very inexpensive I think I did like five or six things I've been out the whole day from the morning to the evening it's now like 4 p.m. and ten dollars is all I've spent just goes to show you how inexpensive this city is and I have to say Delhi is probably one of the most inexpensive cities I've ever been to um, and also one of the most enjoyable especially here in Old Delhi and I know a lot of people will say oh don't go to Old Delhi there are other places that are nicer but for me I like, I like to go to Old Delhi because it's so different to where I'm from and you know I could go to a modern mall very near my house but I like to come to these areas because it's where you get the real characters the real people of India and it's a bit like going back in time it's really nice so thank you to my bro for coming with me and uh, if you want to go check out this channel it will be in the link below in the description below sorry and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video